Good evening. A birthday party has turned to tragedy. A woman falling out of a moving party bus in Vancouver last night and killed. As John Woodward reports, the victim's death is raising serious questions about the safety of party buses. An awful end to a night out. A 23-year-old woman dead, her body under a sheet at Burrard and West Hastings. Police say the young woman was on this party bus with around 24 other people celebrating someone's birthday. When it turned south on Burrard, the woman fell from a bus's open door onto the street. That's when she was hit by the bus and killed. Police say paramedics pronounced her dead at the scene. Hello, and thanks for calling Silver Lady Limousine. The bus is run by Silver Lady Limousine Services. No one picked up the phone there. Documents say the company has operated since 1989. In April, it was given special authorization to operate 11 party buses. This company, hard to find, its listed address is right here. And as you can see, there's nothing there. Another listed address, just a mailbox. A third address, they're lawyers. It's just another senseless tragedy associated with that industry. So says the family of Shannon Raymond, a 16-year-old who got sick and died in 2008 after drinking and taking ecstasy on a party bus. It's equal parts heartbreaking and frustrating for us. The latest in a chain of incidents, 16-year-old Ernst Azoadam collapsed while dancing aboard a party bus, and 17-year-old Mackenzie Gortva was attacked and left unconscious in this parking lot. Consuming alcohol isn't allowed in a vehicle in B.C., but many riders choose party buses because they want to drink. Police didn't say whether there was alcohol on board this bus or not. This Raymond's family campaigned for safer regulations. Last February, the province responded by reclassifying the vehicles. But many of the things they wanted, including requiring a chaperone, didn't happen. The driver can't drive the vehicle, focus on safety, safely operating the vehicle, while well, they're worried about 25 or more people behind them partying. They're asking partiers to take precautions and hoping another night doesn't end like this. John Woodward, CTV News, Vancouver. And the company did release a brief statement late this afternoon, reading in part, Silver Lady Limousine Service Limited is committed to working with authorities in their ongoing investigation to determine the facts and find out what happened. We can offer no further comment at this time as the investigation is ongoing.